Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, all over the world. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless that man. Bless that woman. Bless that boy. Bless that girl. Bless everyone, wherever you are watching me from. May God bless you. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of Louis God. Thank you today for another agreement. Today is a is a topic. God has laid onto my heart to tell that brother, that sister there. I don't know who, who God has pushing me for this platform today. God has just pushing me to this platform to tell somebody, to tell, to, to bring your son back, to bring your whole daughter back. I don't know who is that. So that is why I'm here. I welcome everyone that will come today. May God bless you as we go to hear the word of God today through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All belongs to you. All belongs to you. Heaven and the earth. All power belongs to you. All belongs to you. All belongs to you. Oh, Father, how heaven and the earth is over. Daddy, how power, how no belongs to you. Oh, belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, belongs to you, Baba. Heaven and the earth. Oh, power belongs to you. Oh, belongs to you, Daddy. We have no power of ourselves, oh God. We have no power, we have nothing of our own, Lord Jesus. All no glory belongs to you. All power belongs to you, Jesus. All power belongs to you, Jesus. The mighty man about all. All glory belongs to you. All glory belongs to you, Jesus. All no glory belongs to you, Jesus. Heaven and the air, oh Lord, all power and glory belongs to you. When you say yes, no one can say no, Baba. When you say yes, no one can say no, Baba. Heaven and the air, Lord, all no glory belongs to you. All power belongs to you, Jesus. All glory belongs to you, Jesus. My Father, my Father, my Lord, God Almighty, all power belongs to you. Your Almighty, where you say yes in our life today, where you say life in the life of that man and woman today, oh, no one can say no, Daddy, your power belongs to you. All power belongs to you, Jesus. All glory belongs to you, Jesus. Heaven and the Maliabo, Shiarabo, Sudayan, Naranda, Enderebo, Nerebo, Sundayan, Dorobo, Shana, E Candorobo, Sumbranderebo, Sundaya, all power belongs to you, Father. There is no one to contact with you, Jesus. Heaven and the air, oh Lord, oh heaven and the air. Oh, power belongs to you. Oh, glory belongs to you. Oh, belongs to you. Oh, belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, belongs to you, Father. Heaven and the earth. Oh, the Arabo, Jika, Yadara, Nerebo, Sira. No, the Anarambo, Sheka, Yadorobo, Sira, Narebo, Sunara, Nerebo. Eria, Narobo, Sutari, Araba. E, Mande, Bobo, Shanaraba. Oh, power belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, glory belongs to you, Jesus. Heaven and the air. Oh, power belongs to you. Oh, power belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, power belongs to you, Jesus. Heaven and the air, oh Lord. Oh, power belongs to you, my God. Oh, power belongs to you, Jesus. Oh, power belongs to you, Father. Heaven and the air, oh, all power belongs to you. All power belongs to you, Jesus. All glory belongs to you, Jesus. Heaven and the air, oh, all power belongs to you. All power belongs to you, Jesus. All glory belongs to you, Jesus. Heaven and the air, oh, all power belongs to you. Oh, Yaraba Shandara Baba, we bless you today. Father, we worship you today. Father, we exalt you today. There is no one like you, Holy Spirit of Lord. 
Be that exalted, my Lord, my God. Be that exalted in our life. Be that exalted in our house, our family. Be that exalted in life for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl that cannot pray for himself. Be that exalted for that man that cannot pray for himself. That family that cannot pray for that. Be that exalted. Holy Spirit, Holy God, take all the glory today. Because we know there is no one like you. Today is no agreement prayer, but you just send me to that man, that woman. You just send me to that boy, that girl, that family. Whosoever that individual will be, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because I have obeyed your word to follow. Father, thank you, Lord, for help me to follow you, Lord. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for help me to obey your word. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who is that man, that woman today. I don't know him, that boy, that girl, that family. God has sent me to whatsoever he is. I say you are well. Welcome today in this platform and this is a platform of agreement prayer. A platform of agreement prayer. This is a platform. Anyone that are coming to this platform, they always testify. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I don't know in that person. Today, that person, you go to receive a change in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mommy, you are welcome. Our digoness. Welcome. God bless you. That individual, your life will never remain the same today. As you come to this platform again, today is, I don't know, there is someone that has a thought today that is going to be taught to God wants me to talk to. Whatever this that person is, I say you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is nothing that him God cannot do. God transform life. God change life. God put someone where she wants to belong to. It's only God we need to be followed. It's only God we need to be obeyed to follow. God, but God cannot call to tell to us. He used someone. He used our headers. He used our brother, our sister. He used our family. He used anyone to talk to us. That is why hey, when someone talk to you, please let us just take it. Sometimes you take it, you pray over it. If it's something that you don't like, you throw it away. If it's not based on the word of God, you put it away. That is this. Thank you, Holy. Spirit of living God today, that we have the top the God has given, the Holy Spirit has led to me today. This morning, I tried to battle with myself to make sure to get this very this very clear. And God sent me to that individual. I don't remember wherever he is. If you anyone that are coming to this platform, even now or later, as you come, I say, if we well, go to pray a prayer of a mercy, just say, Father, have God to say, have mercy upon me. If you are not giving your life to Christ, just say to me, say, Lord, Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. I am a sinner. I am always Go to the world. Always do something that not that not glorify you. Always do something that not that not on your on your on your way. Always see lie against my brother. Or always see always or uh, a, a fornication or whatsoever your kind of sin. Say Lord, I am come before you today. I am a sinner. I will never do any do any evil against you no more. I will never go to the world no more. I am going to surround my life to you, Holy Spirit. And to now I know you are God that are receiving me. You say I should come back to you. As, as I come today, because of this very woman of God, this very ev evangelist of God, as I go to submit my life today, my life is going to be marked today. Today is another day. Hey, today is the hate of December. My, I give my life to Christ. I will never go back to the world. Whenever I go back to my vomit, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. And Lord, say, Father, and Lord, wash me. Say, wash me with your blood. Cleanse me. And we never go back to my vomit in the name of Jesus. As I come, I will remain stay. I will stay faithful to worship you in Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, God has received you as a sinner. He has received you now. You are not a born again. You are not a sinner no more. You are not a family of Abraham in Jesus' name. Now, we want to look at the top. Praise God. Today, we go to a little bit delay by grace of God. I don't know God will go to give his airports. Maybe go to be one hour. What to, I don't know God wants me to explain this feeling to. That man, that woman. God has been pouring in my heart since. Let go. Before we before we start, let go to the topic. This topic is a is a, 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 a submit your arrogance to God. Submit your arrogance to God. The topic today, submit your arrogance. I don't know where you are being arrogant to God. Say, Father, I am quit my arrogance. Submit your arrogance. Submit your arrogance that follow God. Submit your arrogance and just come back to your Father, your Heavenly Father. Submit your arrogance. Come back to your loving one. Submit your arrogance. Come back to your Lord. Submit your arrogance. Come back to your Maker of your soul. Submit your arrogance. Come back to your King. Submit your arrogance. The topic submit your arrogance. Submit your arrogance. Where you add the spirit of arrogance and the spirit of proudness. It will make you to not submit to your maker of your soul. It will make you to not submit to all to the Father, the Jehovah Jared, Jehovah Nissi. So today we go to hands for God to help us 
as we go to hear the topic of let's submit to our and to God, let's submit all our arrogance. Let's submit all our our heavy, our our disorder, our heaviness. Those what we are made called to be heavy. Let's submit it to God. Oh, mommy, you are welcome. Welcome, my sister. God bless you. God bless you, mommy. He's good. You are welcome. Let's submit ourselves to only Jehovah, the King of Kings. Let's submit ourselves to the man, the Lord of God, the King of Kings. The only one is the only one that we want to submit for. We are not submitting ourselves to anybody. We are not submitting our soul to any man. It's only God we go to submit our soul for. In the name of Jesus. That is the topic we're going to look about today. Let's submit our arrogant in the name of Jesus Christ. May God help us today to submit to God totally in Jesus. Say, Father, we thank you, Lord, as we go to look about this, to, so, to submit ourselves totally to you. Father, Lord, may you help us. Is there any area we are sinning against you as your children Baba, have mercy upon us today in the name of Jesus Christ? Have mercy. Has anyone that will come over this platform? Father, may you have mercy upon us, Lord. We will never go back to our for me. We will never go we will never have the spirit of arrogance unto us no more in the name of your Father, thank you, Lord, because you are here us today to 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 talk to today how to submit totally to you in Jesus name amen and I open this a platform with the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the blood of Jesus Christ any plan of the wicked one you are not welcome this platform today in Jesus name let go to the word of God hallelujah we are not we cannot do without the words of our father we cannot do anything without the words of the king of king so we we always live to we are living all to the word of God Anything we are doing, we are living unto the word of God. If we are not living unto the word of God, I don't know what 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 else we do we be today. If we are not living unto the word of God, I don't know what else we have to be living by. So thank God we are living to the word of God. We are taking the example of our Lord Jesus Christ to lead to follow Him. It's only Him one that we have to follow. It's only Him one that goes to direct ourselves. It's only one that goes to correct our hero. Praise God. Whatsoever we are doing that we are we are thinking that we're doing right. It's only King or King that goes to correct us. He goes to help us to make the right decision for ourselves in Jesus' name. Praise God. Today God just gave it to me the topic to, to submit all our arrogance totally to follow God. Submit all our arrogance totally to follow God. Please let open our Bible. If anyone that coming here, please when you come share to the, share this bluff or share this uh, bluff uh, uh, this broker. Share it, please. Play when you share, you are you also evangelist. You are so evangelist to the word of God. When you share this broker, you are evangelist. So share it to our brother, our sister, whatever they are worship now, wherever they he share it to them. Let them let them partake of this message this topic let's all enjoy it together let us use it to uh, uh, enjoy our our evening time today the word of god is the food and uh, let's eat the better food the food we already eat this maybe some go to eat and prepare a uh, dinner to eat they enjoy this word of god together today is not agreement prayer uh, today we today is not a prayer day we used to pray thursday praise god but today god learned in my heart to correct to correct ourselves to correct ourselves don't know who that person is praise god Please help me to open your Bible to Luke 15. Praise God. Luke 15. Please let's just do it sharp, sharp. Open your Bible to Luke 15. Let's see something in Luke 15. Praise Master Jesus. The word of God is where that everyone came. We came to change. The word of God changed us. If you are giving your life to Jesus Christ, your life is not changed for better, for good. Try to make it to change. Try to help. Help me change it. Change everything about you. Your attitude, you, your looking, your everything about you. Change it for God. You are not changing for me. You are changing it for God. And when God see you, he say, "This is my dear daughter." And when God see you, he say, "This is my, this is my son." You know what he had denied for me? He had denied this for me. He had denied this for me. He had denied this for me. He am not doing it again. He had denied it. Even though whatever we are doing before, we know that it's not good for us. We leave you leave it when we leave you let us not go back to it again when we go back to it again it make us to not know who he is because the bible has called who say we are a prince we are a prince unto christ so if you are a prince unto christ if you are a prince unto christ so it make us to live we have to live a better thing we have to live a good a life for god as a prince how can a priest live a life of servant? How can a princess live a life of servant? A prince of God. We had a priest according to Revelation. 
Terry, there, he said, we are a priest. And he also called his face Peter, he said, we are the royal priesthood. See, how can you live a life of servant? How can you live a life of servant? A life of a servant, a life of beggar. You know, when we are living a life of servant, a life of beggar, it makes us to not know who we are in Christ. You don't understand? That is why we have to live a life a royal, a life of royal unto the law, the life of royal unto the king. So when we are living a life of servant, it make, it make God very disappointed. Say, ah, this is my daughter, I call her a royal, a priest, a, a priest unto God. God didn't call us, he just called us a priest. So for we to live a life of servant, he make us to not look who we are. So may God not let us be that way. We are we share to that be in that area. Oh, my brother, oh, you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I want you to I want you to invite everyone. As so many that are called, let her invite everyone. Don't look this topic. Say, ah, what is this sister doing there? We are going to we are evangelizing to the word of God. We are we are saying the word of God. We are told what God wants us to say. Praise Master Jesus. This her time. This is the time for we to close that to God. This is the time for we to know what God wants for us. This is the time for we to ask God what we what is the next step we, we need to take. This is the time we need to tell God what the next direction in our life. This is the time we have to follow this Jesus. We have to follow this King of Kings. Praise Master Jesus. Please open your Bible to uh, uh, Luke. Luke 15. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is good all the time. Luke 15. Let's see the uh, the parable of a uh, of a uh, parable of a uh, uh, a parable of a uh, this uh, this a uh, parable of a uh, prodigal son. We go to look at a parable of the prodigal son. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says that Luke 15 level. He said, and, and a certain man he have two sons, and the younger of them say, this father, father. Giving me the portion of the goods that I fed to me, that have fed to me, and he divided unto them this living. And not many days after this, the younger son gathered all together as she took this journey into the far country. And there he went to this and he sustains with a the roast. Of the living, you go and live the road, the kind of life the, this very person, this very uh, this uh, song he's living, living the wayward life. Praise God, hallelujah. So, I want to stop there. The Bible says, This blessed, you say, He living the the road, the road, the road life. So, the life she living is not living the good life. So she had tried to do whatsoever she needed to say she can benefit her life. She tried to do so many things that would benefit her. She lived a life of wayward. No different place that he play, he do he, he do something that he arrogance. The arrogance she don't hear, she does something that the father shared those things there. They, they share what they he tell father, say, come and share, come and give me my whole my whole way, my whole part of this way. And father share there. When the father share there, and they he carry your own senior brother. He carry his senior brother. Excuse me, praise God. He take his senior brother. He take a whole. He take a senior brother. He, he went to the far country. Then that why she went and then that he want to go and live a whole life. He want to go and do whatsoever that pleasing him to do whatever. But at the end, he fail. What make it fail? If I ask you, or if I ask everyone that will come to this Bible, what made this uh, pretty girl so fail? Because the life she live in, she don't live in the good example life. She live a life for maybe she carry friends. Hey, come, come. At the head, the friends she carry, she carry gather together. The friend, the friend fail, fail in. If the money they follow him, he the money. Let that no one even come to tell him, giving him a good advice to say this money you are using, You're not supposed to use it this way. Try to invest this money. No one's telling him that way to invest. So we there's so many of us we are living the life of our life today. Where no one, nobody can to tell you the life. You have so many friends that like it around you that you not leave God. I don't want need to those friends they cannot tell you the better life you need to live because they, they want you to be like them. Praise God. They want you to be like them. They cannot tell you to not do what you are doing. They want you to be like them. So this is what happened to this very uh this particular soul. The Bible story we are reading right now. So a Bible it makes me to know after she has spent all what she take or uh, take uh, take away with arrogant. I know he's a hard God, proud. He have a proud to take the whole brother, the whole brother, 
uh, things, he take it along with uh, with him. She take everything. After that, she spent all. There is no one harvesting him. So this world we are living. You are living the world that way. You have so many friends. You think that those one is the benefit for your life. Brother, if you are that individual, you are coming to this platform, you have so many friends, no one tell you to follow Christ. No one tell you to say ah, what you are doing or what you are doing. They won't tell you anything. They're just clapping for you. They are happy with you. They are, they, they are digging your grave. They are digging your grave because if they know, because they, they cannot even tell you because they are blind. Someone that blind cannot tell someone that... That, 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 that blind to a blind man cannot tell blind man what you have to do. So the blind man cannot leave blind man. So that is it. So this story we hear listing here, like that is what God put on my house this morning. I said, Who is this person? I try to take it to myself. God see putting in. He said, Go and tell them. But at the end, for that 27, the Bible say, and he say, does that very Luke 15, we read uh, level to we read level to where we read. We read level to uh, twelve. Now we are going to twenty-seven. He say, and he said to him, the brother is coming, and the father. The, and he said to him, the brother is coming, and is the father, and the father has key is the key the fat or the heat or the because of that receiving him and the father and his, his son and he was hungry this very senior one is not hungry we got to read it to 28 he was hungry and she won't and go to this went and go him and therefore he came to the father as he called the father heart and he had he, he, he counter him and he Answer and said to his father, Lord, yes, how many years do I serve? He said, yeah, I've been serving you so many years. Why can't you do this for me? The good news is that he said, this, you know what? He still obey following his father. He do so many things to follow his father so well. He said, Father, I've been obeying you so far this year. Over this, this my young, this my younger one, he, he swear everything. She tried to swear so many things. He tried to do so many things. Target it. But I still follow you. I didn't go away for you. This person go away for you. He don't obey you. This uh, this is uh, the younger one. He pro he pro he, he pre what did this younger one do here? He he, he provoke he do he he, he, he had a spirit of a, 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 a arrogance, arrogant spirit and a disobedient spirit. He didn't respect his father. He didn't respect his mother, uh, his brother, his senior brother. That's this first this uh, the where we go to listen. This is the spirit of disobedience, the spirit of arrogance, the spirit of myself. Self, self righteousness, self righteousness. There are so many self righteous today in the house of God. They cannot take advice. They don't want to take any advice. They want to do what's pleasing them. They want to do what they like. This is what happened to this very brother here. But later, after the death, the, 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 the friends, they have spooled, they, they are, they are, rock, they are rugging him down. They are throwing him down. He have not, she came back to his father. His father received him back. The, the story he received it back. So what we what are, what do we want to bring? I want to bring out for this very topic here. Let let Harogan go away from away from our brother my sister. Let let Harogan go away. If anyone here, if anyone here that will come about this platform, if there's any area you are be arrogant to your father, just because of a friend, just because of people say, not because of what people will talk, you are arrogant to your brother, your sister, your family. You are arrogant to your, your pastor, your, 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 your bishop. You are arrogant to the house of God, your way you are fellowship to. Please, try to come back. Try to come back to your father. Your father needs you. That is what the big person says. He said, let God get there to me. God needs you. You are precious. See the way this the man, this father receiving the son. He's receiving his key. He tells them to go and kill the, kill the ram. To kill the, the celebrity. That is what God wants for you now. If you are anywhere you are missing, no matter. If a friend drag drag you, drag, drive you away in the heart of God, he did drive you away in the heart of God. He did drive you away for you not to know this God. Man, before you know him, now friend are dragging you away. Now come back. If any any area you are taking what is not supposed to belong to you, you are taking it. God now, he has forgiven you now. He wants you to come back. As you are coming, come with sincerity heart. Say, Lord, I will never go back to again. And I come to serve you now because you love me. 
I say this message to that brother, that sister. God wants her to share for better, not to go back away to the world. God wants her to change everything about her. How can you be a brother, his sister in the house of God? You will be arrogant. No one wants to talk to you. No one wants to close out to you because of your arrogance, because of your self-righteousness, because of your self-righteousness of the proudness. A proudness leads to destruction. Were you so proud, no soon, nobody advised you, nobody tell you the danger is coming. No, say that person in little destruction. That is why you need to receive, you have to listen to people. You have to receive it, the people where people say to you. You have to hear for your father, not your people. You have to hear for your man of God. You have to hear for your woman of God. You have to hear for those who are before you. Um, this very topic, I'm talking to a believer that already go away, that abslide. I am talking to a Christian that are backslides. Backslides because of what to get this, you want to get this, you want to get this. Now God is calling you back. Come back. There is no time in the world. Come back to your father. There is no time in the world to play. Come back in the world. There is no time for the world for in the world for we to do so many things. There is no time. Nobody know where the they, they, they will the, 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 the God will come. Everybody has said Jesus is coming. Jesus coming. When Jesus will come in. I'm telling you now, Jesus is coming very soon. This man says he's just me and you now. Come back to your first love. Come back to your maker. In the Bible, in Isaiah, the Bible says Lucifer, he cast down. Isaiah, let's go to that very Isaiah before we pray. We don't waste time for there. Praise God. Isaiah 4, hallelujah. Rekobo Shadaba. Look at Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, 12. Let's see what is happened there. Let's see what's happened there in Isaiah 40:12. The Bible said the Lucifer cast down because what he said, she want to be like God. If you are in the, if you are in any con, any uh, 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 any place or wherever you are being, the working place, not like, not try to be like your master. Not try to be like your master to exalt yourself. No, you say no one can advise you. Not try to be when you are trying to be like you. Not try to learn, and you will not get so many things for your master. And you make your master to always a, 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 a far for you. That is one thing. Who is your master? Your savior, Jesus Christ. When you want to be like Jesus Christ, he made Jesus Christ to grow far for you. He said, "This my son, he said to know. This my son want to know everything." No, he don't want you to teach. He don't want you to direct him. He don't want you to guide that step. That is what happens to many of us. That is what happens to many children of God all over the world. That is what happens to the body of Christ all over the world. Nobody wants to take correction. Everybody wants to be on the top. When you want to be the top, nobody wants to take you. No one wants to take correction. That means that if that in person, he always, he always go in disaster. He always go in disaster. What happened to this uh, look where we read for? He said the, 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 the parable song. He went back. He came back. He came back with empty hands. With nothing with him. Because of the arrogance. Because of arrogance, he went back. He came back. So let us not be uh, the, uh, the prodigal son. Let's come back to our father with sincerity heart. Let's serve this God with genuinely. There is no time to waste to play gamble. There is no time to waste to play the, 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 do all many things of this world. There is no time to do in the world no more. The world has nothing to offer that boy, that girl. If you are left your father, if you are left your sister, if you are left your father, you have left your family because of uh, one thing or the other of you, of your selfish thing that you know you have been doing. Come back to your father. Come back to your sister. Come back to your family. Come back to your father. Your father needs you now. Who is this your father had talking about? He's Jesus Christ that came to die for you and I. He said, come back. He loves you. He loves that boy. He loves that girl. No time for you to play gabo no more. You are playing gamble, you tell what belongs to people to join to your home. You do it because of you, for your because of your arrogance, because of your self-righteousness, because you are so no, nobody wants to advise you no more. Jesus needs you now. Come back to repair the, the permanent. Come back to repair permanent. No come back to continue where you stop. Come back to repent. What the, what is the meaning of we are going to church? We're going to church to share for better. We are going to show, we are not going to show to stay there 10 years, 20 years. Say um 
Everybody said, no, no, let, let them be. Let it be like that way. Let it like just be like, no, it will change. It will change. No, it is not going to be that way. Someone had to tell you something. Someone had to tell you what you need to hear. Someone had to direct you. Someone had to correct you. Not take arrogance. Not take the life, the spirit of disobedience to yourself. Not take anything where you have the spirit of disobedience, the spirit of arrogance. All those ones will lead you to disaster. So that is why you need to take correction. Come back to your father, father calling you. This man, that man, that woman, that family. The Lord God of Abraham calling you. The Lord God of Isaac calling you. As you listen to this message today, I say you will be a, be a blessing. Let it be a blessing to you. Let it be a, a, let it enter you. Let it feel you. Whatever it is, you are missing it. God calling you. In the, 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 that look 17, where you start the, the, the beginning, in this, the, the beginning, say he had 19. He said 99. He lived this very man. He lived 99. He go out looking for only one that lost. So if that one that I lost, that one that I lost, it can be you now. It can be me now. God don't want us to lose. He don't want us to lose to the war. God don't want you to lose to the war. He don't want you to lose to the war. She need us. So, if any area you are lost to the world, please come trace your way back. The way this very soul trace the back, trace the way back to your father. This is where we read for the Luke 17. Praise Master Jesus. The Luke 17 say the predicate soul, he traced it back, he traced the way back. He say, even though he can be a servant in the father, in the father vineyard, even though I can be a servant, he traces his look back, he traces his leg back. back. Trace your life back to God. Say, Father, I need you more. There is no time to waste in this world. Nothing this world will offer us. Nothing. Then look, look what happened. Look what, what, I, what we are talking about. Let's go to that very place. Praise Master Jesus. Karabo Shaga. Rekobo Si Brada Basenderebo. Let's look at that. Isaiah 14, 12. Open your Bible, dear. Help me to open your Bible, dear. We are, we are, we are tell, tell the word of God to correct ourselves, to direct ourselves. Hope you are I'm sorry, so I will, I will render you up. Today is not the day of prayer. Let's all your listen. Uh, the word of God that will help us, that will direct us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Kaba Shadaraba. Isaiah 14. Praise Master Jesus. God help you us. I believe there is someone God wants to talk to today. I believe there is someone God has talking to today in the Isaiah 4 12. Let's go to 12. Let's go to say, and mommy, you are welcome, man. Thank you, mommy. It's good. I love you. <laughs> Let's open our Bible, dear Isaiah. Isaiah 14, 12. He said, How thou hast faith from, from heaven, O Lucifer, the son of the, of the morning, how the heart thou hast cut down to ground which I did and weak on the in, in nation. He said, he said, The Lucifer cast down to the nation. The Lucifer cast down to the hair. The Lucifer is here that I tried to, to take the children of God along with him to go back to hell. Do you want to go with the Lucifer to hell? Is there any area you think you are be doing that be like a Lucifer? What Lucifer is? Lucifer has done himself. If I can do this, if I can do this, how many times he said that it's not time for me to read that? If I can, if I can exalt myself, it can what be this? You want to be like Lucifer? You want to go and make money? You want to go and do this? You want to do this? If I can be this, if I can be like, don't compare yourself to anybody, brother, sister, all over the world. Don't compare yourself to any man, any woman. Don't be the way God created you. Be where you are to your maker. Be where you be, where you be, where God, the way God created you. Be, don't be that way. And God will receive you to Himself. That is why God needs you today to come back as a prodigal son. He's a prodigal son. He come back to His Father. He chased the way to Him. Is there any area, any area you are going away for your father? I don't know his that man because I'm oppressed on my heart today. And I'm so fear and my heart is so weary today. To speak, to tell that brother, to tell that man, to tell that woman. Anywhere you are backsliding, let those things go, my brother, my sister. There is nothing in this world. There is nothing we have to do. Share, share. Anyone that are coming to this platform, help that man, help that woman, help that brother, help that sister, help that family. There is nothing in this world no more. The world has no to offer us no more, neither to we to serve him, to serve the God that called us. He said, These people that are fine for myself, that is where we are ready. We are saying it, we are saying it before in the, in the book of Isaiah. These people that are fine for myself, for they to come and serve me, do what you need to serve God. Let people, even though they are denying you, they place it another way again. Okay? 
There are some people that come with a sincerity to serve God. In the house of God, there is a law. In the house of God, there is a law. So, when some of these kind of people, they come to the house of God, they want to come and serve God. They come, they come as, they are, they, where they can, they, they see of the of oppression. When someone will be oppressing in that division, so you are not, you are not my category. You are not this, you are not this. You know what? No, those things, you make people, you are, you are hurting people away in the sight of God. You are in the, in the, you are in the, in the house of God, whatever position you are acquired in the house of God, is for you to draw people near to God, not for you to have brought people away from God. Another one for the, for the minister of God, for the pastor, for the men of God, the women of God, try to draw people. Look at this man. He said he go away. Maybe there is a, someone, maybe they go away. Maybe they come back and say, hey, he don't go. What did he say? I don't go try another church. Now I don't come back. No, let us not do that. That is not the, that is not the mentality of our father in heaven. Even though he come back, when he come back, the way you will receive that individual, he will say, hey, some people, they love me like this. Let it be, let it be our mindset. Let it be the mindset of God in your heart to do that. No, to God, no, no, for we to cast them away. Please, God has warning us today. Please let us have back to the word of God. He go to help you, her help mine, help us, everyone that come to this platform in Jesus' name. And let me pray for that mother, woman today. This month is the month of December. As we listen to this very topic, oh Lord, the topic of arrogance, we are to. Pour down Harogan, pour down Harogan, follow Christ. Let Harogan go away for us and let follow Christ in the name of Jesus. I pray for that man, that woman that cannot pray for himself. I pray for that boy, that guy, as you listen to this topic, to this little exhortation, to let Harogan go to follow Christ and go to see how God go to help arise you. You go to see how God go to draw closer to you. You go to see how God go to make a way for you. You go to see how God go to fight your battle. That battle, or sin battle, you have, God, you, you have, God have been fighting for you, you are not seeing. You got to see how God go to fight more for you because you are listening to the voice of God to let Haruga go for yourself, to let hobbiness go, to spirits of disobedience go away, spirits of proud net. Proud net is not for anyone that are proud is, is a Lucifer, is a, a, a kingdom of darkness, is a center where you are proud, you have the spirit of center in you, where you are proud, you have the spirit of Lucifer in you, where you are proud, where you are always proud, no one caught me, no one can you, you always there, where you see your brother. That he's not there, even though he's coming, try to help that your brother, help your sister. Not be proud, not be say hi, hey, he's not here. This one is not come to my category. This one is not my try. He's not that is not that is not the maturity of Christ in you. If you even though wherever they come, wherever your society, wherever you are acquired in the in the any place in the house of God, the body of Christ, where you start to be proud, where you start not walk up to you, you want to do something that, that will please you. That is not for God. Always listen to the voice of God, always read your boy, your Bible, always read the word of God. Let the word of God be the, the, the priority of you, that we control you, that we help you, that we help us, that we build this hope. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that one. If you listen to this topic, today your life will share for better for, for, for better for good. Today we are on this platform. If I this platform now, if I say anyone needs money, come. I want to bless somebody with money. Come so 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 play. You will see people with rock. Now we are going to listen to this word that we encourage us now. So please share this. Share this broker. Let that one, that individual hear it. Let's come back. God is calling you. God is not a man. If you go to the shop, they can't maybe you then see you the, your 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 lifestyle the way you are living because you go away, they ignore receive you. Try another try another church where they'll receive you. The show where God will please you, he will pull somebody in the heart of the man of God there. He will say, This is my son, this is my daughter. He will take you back in the name of Jesus Christ. What what the meaning? What is the meaning of, uh, of serving God? What is the meaning of loving God? What is the meaning to go to to closer to God to, to serve God to shame for anything we are doing to shame for it not to stay for those things we are doing 20 years, 30 years. Our habit is not, you know, our habit, our habit, our habit, our mindset remain the same. No, our sorry God to share for better. 
And that is going to be your portion in Jesus' name. As you share, God changing your life. As you share for good, God change you for good. As you share for better, God change you for better. As you share, God change for anything you let so many things go away for you. He said, This I quote it for you, God. This I quote it for you, God. Just because of you, Lord, I will not do this again. You got to see how God got to visit your life. You got to see how God got to embarrass you for blessing. Whatsoever you need it. The Bible says, See first the kingdom of God. He said, Every other thing we had it unto you. Because you are see first the kingdom of God. You got to see so many things go to add it unto you. Not just had it unto you, had it to your family, had it to your heart, so in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, Remain blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, Remain blessed. That man, that woman, that brother, that professor. Whatsoever thing you are be feeling bad or whatsoever, because you go to trace yourself back or you are giving your life to Christ, please just go to submit yourself to the house of God, the children of God. You go to, you go to fit in the word of God. Please just stay, just stay, stay permanent. Not go away. Not go away. Come back, please. If you go away. God upon, God upon your life, upon your family, upon your ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you, that man, that woman. I bless you, that boy, that girl. Whatsoever your heart desire be this month before you come to hell, my Father in heaven will visit you. Will you trace yourself back? You are welcome, man of God. Please, anyone that are coming to this platform, share this broker because we are going to close it very soon. I say, bless you. I bless you, my brother, my sister. Wherever you are watching, my brother, I bless you. More grace unto you. I say, go, we visit you. The village trace your, you trace back to your first love. Your first love is Jesus Christ. Your first love is Jesus Christ that died for you and I. He wants you to trace your way back. Whosoever way you are missing it, God wants you back. No, look the thought of a man. No, not look where Meg will say, not look where this man say, this one will say, this no, just come back to your God. You are serving your God, you are not serving no man, you are not serving your brother, you are not serving anybody. You are serving the maker of your soul, that God has created you. The God that will take bread out of your nose, Nana, you will no more bread, no more. That is the God you are serving. So just trace your life back to Him, and God will see you through any area of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. As you listen to this word of the exhortation, I say, Remain blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. For Lord God of heaven, He will see you through. Whatsoever you are believing God for, the whole door, I declare the door open up to you right now. The door opportunity to open up to you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty I love you, Herod, wherever you are watching me. My brother, you come late. Please share this platform. Please listen to it. And you go to bless us in Jesus' name. Everyone that comes to this platform, you are blessed today in Jesus' name. Please share it. Or Thursday is our prayer, agreement prayer platform. So please, everybody, please come to Thursday. Let's pray together. Pray our heart to God in Jesus' name. You are blessed in Jesus' name. I love you. Whatever you are watching me, I love you in Jesus' name. Amen. I